at that game company, we have um, a design process that does actually start with an emotion, um, an idea of how we want the player to feel. And then we try and take all of the elements, um, not just uh, any sense of a story in specific, um, but also the visual language of the game and the audio and the interaction itself to feed that emotional journey. It's about expanding the spectrum of what video game can provide as, as a medium. We thought if we would be able to help to grow this, this medium, uh, we need to present to the world that, hey, games can be about these feelings. They can provide these emotions. I think games offer a unique opportunity as a medium to create experiences um, that only really exist between the player and the work itself and the game itself. So, for instance, in Flower, we have a very minimalistic story um, to really invite the player to bring their own experience and therefore their own interpretation from the, from the game. You know, I grew up in, a, in Shanghai, which is a huge metropolitan city, but doesn't necessarily have that much green, you know. I've never seen a rolling grass hill. So when I come to California, I see these farms, endless green and windmills. It really gives me a, a sense of nature. I wanted to capture that because it's so overwhelming. It's like someone who never sees the ocean go to the beach for the first time. With a game, I can actually do that. I can let the player fly through the grass as if their face is next to it. They push away the grass, they can smell it by interacting with them at that close distance. But also they can fly up and oversee the entire the scale of the field. You need to feel like you can go anywhere you want. Um, and you can't do that in a painting, but in the game you can actually physically do that. I think of uh, the game process, the way that we make games, it's a lot about planting little seeds and then seeing which ones grow because you have to have a lot of people think about the idea and work on the idea for it to really thrive. The design process helps us take this big concept and shape it and mold it. And at every stage in the design process, we hone in on the core value, the core thing, the one piece of, of meaning that we really need to communicate through this work of art. I'm currently working on a project called Journey. We were first testing this notion that two people would meet, they would be strangers, that they wouldn't know each other. And you can't speak to each other, you can't chat, it's completely mute, you can only call to each other, and then you can also glow. So when two people are close to each other, they kind of become lighter and they can glow together. And there was a moment between these two players where they were dancing on the air together and they had no idea who they were playing with. They knew no one in the world had seen this experience before. And when I saw these two play testers dancing like that together, I thought that is something that is going to be really, really emotional for someone. Someone out there is going to have an emotional experience because of that first encounter. And that, that really blew my mind. Play enriches your life. Video games have the capacity to connect people and help them share their feelings, their thoughts, that shows their true creative spirit. You know, I, I think everything has, is an art. Anything human does has a potential to express, and they are all art. There's no difference between digital and traditional. They are all just different technology that people invented to be expressive.